What's going on, everybody? Uh, today we're playing some more Parallel. Um, I think my plan is we still have a bunch more rookie mode games to go through. Um, you should have seen the Augen Core video by now. Um, I think that one ran a little bit long playing through multiple games like that. Uh, so I think for the next couple rookie mode matches, we're just going to play maybe one or two of them, depending on the length of games. If we get two really short ones, then we'll bump it to three. And then I'll finish off the rest of these off camera, and then maybe I'll do like one final pack opening of everything that we earn. Um, so we're going to hop on into Earthen. I don't know really much about that faction or what they try and do. Uh, I saw a little tagline underneath that said high health units and then transition. So maybe it sounds like it's probably like a more control type gameplay. Um, just stick on the board with chunky units and then transition probably into like big dumb beaters in the end game. Uh, but regardless, we will uh, cut on in. All right, we've got a matchup. We're playing against an AI opponent We're playing Shroud. That's another one of the factions. Don't know anything about them either, uh, but we are learning together. Your advance. You know what I just realized is... One chance. I'll tell you what I realized in a second. After you play a unit, this gets plus one plus one and you heal. Let's... Um... I think this might be fine. Uh, so what I realized is uh, I am blocking my energy in this game. I don't know what the best place for me to go is because um, maybe we'll go right there. Because I don't want to block my opponent's energy and I don't want to block everybody's paragons. Um, so regardless, uh, we will... Put that big dumb guy into How our bank. Beautiful. Play this chick that ramps. What does the thing do? Four energy from the units with defender deal damage to their current health instead of attack. Okay. Watch your step. They dealt two damage to this, but they did not kill it. Chem crazed bruiser in there. We're gonna upgrade this chick because he ramps. Shamok Stone Eyes. When in hand, reduce the cost of this unit by one when you are healed. Oh, uh, so this thing vibes with that pretty well. What does this do? Deal one damage to a random enemy unit. If it would destroy it, banish it instead. If this would enter the waste, banish it instead. Oh, banish it transformed instead. Okay. Um. Interesting. Do no harm. Let's just play student of Shoshana. I think I'm gonna pass. I don't think I need to burn for now. X you play costs one less. That's a little spooky. Can I kill my ramp or my heal? Did he just kill himself? I have no idea what's going on anymore in life. Um... Burn that guy. We'll just go face for now. Okay. I don't think it's going to count as healing for Shamok, but I feel like I'm being very greedy keeping two of them. Excuse me? Target enemy unit banished until this leaves the battlefield. What does passive this do? Not attack, but can defend. Okay. Let's burn that. Approaching. Let's 
Play our muster effect. And I will kill that, and that'll bring back my check. I guess we just pass. Heal any target for five. Alright, so uh, Shamox will like that. Although I don't think I've taken any face damage yet. Ooh, that's a good card. Um, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Maybe we'll just go face and I can heal myself. Malachite shield looks solid. After this unit enters the field, put a single card from your singularity into your hand. I guess the singularity is where stuff goes when it's banished. Alright, thankfully they finally did some damage to us, so we can do some stuff. Uh, let's use Malachite shield, I think. Right into that. They have a defender, so I don't know if I'm going to use that here. And then... When it says you are healed, doesn't mean it has to be my face. Either way, I think it's probably fine. I do think I'm being su supremely greedy going double Shamok. I'll probably wind up burning one of them next turn. I can't be so greedy. Come on, my beauty. I got a 5 4. Getting a little concerned here. That's actually quite a good top deck. Oh, I should have uh, traded this first. Because now I'm going to trade this, I'm going to get my 2 2 back, and I could have proc the heal on her. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That wasn't that card. That was just a straight removal. Alright, so I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. These guys are just killing me, though. I gotta do something about it. Now that is the card I was thinking about. How'd they play my card? I'm just going to play this guy out. Depending on their attack order, I should be able to, like, bounce that and take one down with me or something like that. Uh, never mind. I'll let that go through. That gets bounced, right? Oh, it's because I didn't use defense. That's annoying. I didn't think that would work like that. I thought defend just meant, like, take damage. Guess we gotta play this chick. And then... I'm gonna burn one of these guys. I've been greedy long enough. And get the chem crazed boy out. I stand watch. What things I could show you. Well, 
also just taking some stuff down with us. Yeah, I guess we'll defend anyway. Saved us a good amount of face damage, if nothing else. Let's go both of these. Yeah, I definitely think this Shamok is supposed to be getting ramped by uh, wherever that 2 2 is. Approaching. Yeah, she get bounced. Alright. I'm pretty sure the AI just did some massive choke maneuvers. That's fine. Um, he wants to attack that. That's fine. Never learn. Now I get Defender on my 6-3. How much energy do they have? They have 4. Alright. Let's draw some cards. I actually badly needed that. This guy's a 4-6, right? Yeah, we need stats like that on the board. So we're going to burn that, play this guy out, Bring it. trade that there, give Defender to this guy, and then... Probably should go face with that, but... Get the board nice and cleaned. I think we got another yeah, another supply and demand, demand so we could draw two more cards. We actually can just play Shamax cost soon. Watch. Attention, please. Create a two-one furious student. What if I don't want to? Let's hit that. Draw first, and then we can maybe burn one of the two cards we draw to play this uh, cruiser guy. Yeah, do that. Kill this. Professor! Honestly, though... I kind of want to save that. Yeah, I'm just going to play out the 2-2. Two -two. I'd rather have the three damage from hand. And then we can burn this four cost, play Shame Mac, draw some cards. We didn't get any cost reduction on him. That's mostly my fault. Defend with our four four. We still got some stats. We're doing okay. Ooh, that's a good card. Cause now we can start getting cost reduction here. Do no harm. We're gonna say better late than never, and we're gonna start getting this reduction the way it should be. We might end the game next turn anyway, but it's okay. Then we have our interceptor to potentially help clear some blockers and then clear the way for the rest of this damage. Eight cost, what does that do? Gain control? I don't want my 6 1. Approaching. Let's play this. We will kill that. And that is lethal right there. And then we can just hit and hit uh, never mind. and hit. Alright, so I definitely can see that one of the main will never fall. strategies for this deck, besides the whole defender synergy, is to ramp up that 2 2 to discount Shamak. Uh, so hopefully we'll do that better in game two. Uh, that was a long game, so we'll probably just do one more uh, and we will cut back in once we get that matchup.
All right, we've got a matchup. It's something as Ogunpor this time. I'm not mad at it. Let's see if we can play a little bit better this time. Parallel's tough. Like, I was always, in, like, out of all the card games, not that I've ever, like, great at card games in general. Um, but... I feel like one of the card games I always struggled with the most at getting good at was uh, Mythgard in terms of like managing your hand resources and I think that is staying the same here as well. Um, I'm going to put the Malachite Shield in there because so we might want to play this next turn if I have no playable units. We know what this guy does. He gets the free Juggernauts. I'm going to shuffle in Supply and Demand. I'm going to play Recon. And I'm going to say you put in an upgrade. Ooh! A whiff! Well, at least we got a 2-2 now. We have something playable. There's an argument not to play that 2 plus card unless they have two things in their bank, but that's fine. Now, if we had a uh, homeboy in hand and we had two of these down, double healing, that's how you get him from 10 costs down very quickly. We're going to put some upgrades onto this, I'm sure. What did they put on? Just the one that draws? No, kill switch. Ooh. Engaging target. Ballsy. So I'm probably going to use the black market fixer. Take out the defender. We'll play the black market fixer. Which is unfortunate, but can't really stop it. They're gonna take us down with them. And it's Shamek! Alright. Yeah, it would have been a discount on him. I hope John notices me. Okay, that was the ocular implant. Is that the one that gives them armed? Yeah. Okay. Technically kind of need both of these out. Does armed trigger on... It says when attacking, so I don't think it triggers on defense. So, like, if I do this... Okay, so that does work the way I thought it would. Perfect. That is exactly what I needed to know. Uh, I think I'm going to burn this other fixer. Play out this 4-6, because unless it gets upgraded, it can't take us out. And then potentially next turn, we can go Student, Student, Stoic Cell Sword, and that would just start really discounting Homeboy a lot. What upgrade? They got the Ocular Implant. They're just going to be drawing all the cards. That's exactly what I wanted him to do, though, is take that out. Fortunately, there's no damage done to our face. I don't think it's like a reasonable play though to just go student student stealth cell sword. So we're gonna do it anyway. Do no harm. Do no harm. That does answer one of my other interaction questions of whether you actually need to have something occur or not. 
in terms of like actually getting a proc of healing. Um, I'm gonna take it out. Augenclaw needs stuff on the board to be like as good as possible. Stop right there. Seven three. Oh, the graphene battery. Interesting. Put change of heart in there. Life ball is just not that good for me right now. Shielded just protects you from effects. Okay. Yeah, so we can hit that. Uh, never mind. You violated the law. Uh, never mind. Hey, it's another Shamak. Looks like we're gonna have to play these raw again. Nobody ever wants to let us get our students going. I hope John notices. Right, we got a one-one. Oh, that guy! I know that guy. They're gonna pass, which is good for me. So, like, if I. Into Malachite Shield. And tree. Actually, let's get this chick out. Because then I can take this guy out. And that leaves a 4 4 armed, but I can block with Nehemiah. Ooh, crew boss is spooky. Yeah, I think I want the damage to go there. Rather than oh, the damage comes off before it resolves. That's not good. I guess that's just a weird interaction with the way armed works. Uh, do they have any defenders? They do not. Get that. Let's just pass. Because what we can do is if this attacks, we block with the cell sword. Which then can give defender to the steward of the garden. This is not the order I was hoping this would go in. Um, Make her a 4 4. Then I have to give up the student because that thing has armed. Okay, all my stuff should get healed now by this thing. Which then will allow me to hit this. That hit that, and then we can play this guy and this guy. Not gonna burn anything yet because we need the resources. This guy's very scary, though. That's also very scary. Camera let him do this. Because then we can take some stuff out otherwise. 
Ooh, but not with that we can't. Do I have any AoE or anything? Gain control of target enemy relic. Is this a relic? Yeah, but my enemy does not have any relics, so this is just a 4-4. So I'm gonna burn that. Okay, I mean, we got our Shamak out, which is something we needed badly. Approaching. That's bad. Let's defend our face, which then lets us give Defender to Shamak. We can use his big dumb head to block some stuff. Do I want to block that thing? No. I'll let the two two go. We want to block these two. Two two can go. We need to kill the zealous machinist, and we need to kill the defense juggernaut. There's no way. To... Oh, he's attacking with that. Nice. I have my own crazed chemist. It has one counter on it. Put target enemy non-paragon unit into their hand. That needs to be played on a more high value target. So let me play the chem crazed bruiser and the steward of the garden. How bountiful! Trade that in. We will give defender to the chem crazed bruiser because I feel like that is a very strong combo. Take out the 3-3. Three, three. I wasn't expecting him to die, unless I just wasn't looking at the math properly. Um, I think we'll pass for now. We really need to get some units. Stop right there! Servos. Do you play an upgrade? Draw one card. Ah, uh, that's fine. You can hit that. Ramping one energy doesn't help me a whole lot anyway. Let's draw some cards. Um, let's go for this. Get these three little guys out. And then... Take a face hit. And I think we pass. I mean, if they choose to attack, we can just use all these defenders all day. The downside is we get three less energy next turn, but like, 
I don't think we care. They're drawing so many cards. These things can't be damaged. I guess this is an AI weakness here. Are they just gonna let me wipe this board? They are. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Cause I feel like I've been getting my butt kicked, so this is a nice way out. Damn it, I was hoping they wouldn't get one of these. Gonna take that out. Just play her. Really, that's all I got for now. I don't know what happens if you deck out in this game. Oh, I guess that's what happens. They're taking damage. Maybe that's my strategy: is survive while they deck themselves out. We'll take the two. Probably have to trade with the chem craze bruiser into that. Do I even have any units left in here? Let me take you out. I want that guy back. Um, I don't think we just pass. Now let's see if fatigue ramps up in this game. It does. Okay. So I just need to survive now. Oh, he's definitely going to kill himself. Absolutely gonna kill himself. I think he dies in the next turn. It looks like it doubles, so it goes one, two, four, eight. It doesn't go one, two, three, four like in Hearthstone. I'll pass. I'll take the two. It's <laughs> gonna get fired over this. <laughs> the vaults. You wanna talk about an undeserved victory? But one that I will take. I will definitely take it. Alright guys, that is Earthen. Um, very stally class. Um, doesn't feel like my kind of thing. Next time we'll play the Cathari, and then we'll see what Mercolian and Shroud have to offer. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of Parallel down below in the comments section. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.